Hello traders and welcome to the weekend edition. My name's Des here at Grok Trade, senior analyst, president, and founder of freetradingvideos.com incorporated DBA Grok Trade. Thank you for being a viewer and thank you for sharing our videos and website and all the free trading education with your friends and colleagues. And we this video is good through Sunday, July 10th, 2011. One thing right out of the gates, if you go to the website freeonlinetradingeducation.com, click on calendar and you can take this month's free webinar. We do a free webinar once a month to give back to help you as traders develop to higher grounds in your trading abilities and skill sets. We're going to be talking specifically on Monday night, that's July 11th, Monday night, on gaps and bullish trend reversals and bearish trend reversals. Very important, and we're also going to be talking about the biggest weaknesses. Between the mentors here, we have over 2,000 mentorees or students that we've mentored, and myself, well over 500, and we have a lot of weaknesses that we see come through our doors, and we want to share those trading weaknesses that we see so you find a way to help mitigate those areas of of weakness in our trading all right so the first 100 people get in completely free we do this each month so do not hesitate go right now to free online trading education.com click on calendar and sign up for july 11th free webinar all right let's get going here this is the daily s p we continue to remain in this big ginormous symmetrical triangle and here we are right now smacking our head right on that trend line. Does it surprise us? Not in the slightest. If you've been with us for very long, you know trend lines are something that we are highly skilled at here at Grok Trade, and it is utterly amazing how these trend lines act as perfect support and resistance areas, and sure enough, it's happening yet again here. So we have this big bearish haram after an extended run. On Friday, we had some bad um, employment numbers come out. Um, unemployment rate is now at 9.2%, so we did tick up. We took a nasty dive on Friday, come right back up, but we closed at some support. And there's a support line coming across at 1343, and that's right where we rallied back and showed some support. The bottom line here on the daily is we are very extended and it would not be um, out of place to see a big down leg come into place or uh, to come to be. What we're looking for is a breakout or a breakdown above this big upper trend line or below this lower trend line. Anything between will be choppy, 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 and the more it gets coiled within the apex, the more strength it will build, and I'm looking for a major run to the upside or to the downside Again, anything between is perfect for maybe some swing trading, but definitely more for day trading inside this. Now, we always like to look at the weekly. The weekly trumps the daily. And if you look at this line coming down and this one coming up, there's that big symmetrical triangle. We hit our head here, and you can see this on the weekly. Went up there, tagged it, came right back down. So the bodies did not rest up there. This shows relative weakness. It was just the shadow that made it up there opposed to the bodies. So we closed out the week with relative weakness. And here we have the line coming across at 1342, 1433. We're slightly above that. But that is a major area here that could act as resistance. And that's precisely where we're at right now. So I did draw another trend line here. It's this one, swing high, higher swing highs. But if you look very closely here, you can see that we miss hitting this trend line coming up. That does show weakness. We did drop after that weakness. We rallied up, showing yet again more weakness here. So if you ignore this line and look at this line and this line, we are in a rising wedge formation, which is more bearish than bullish. So with that said, if we start to drop and we do break below this major trend line, woe to the markets. All right, now let's see what the monthly is telling us. The monthly shows us it's kind of a high base taking place. Now, we're only starting off this month here. So 
Um, it looks like we've made a high here. We have a low, but we're hanging around below this 1345. 1345 is a real number that we have to be concerned with. We are below that right now. And the question is, have we made our high for the month? And is there only downside potential the rest of the month here? This is something that we're watching quite closely. But if we can remain here for another uh, month or two sideways, going into that symmetrical triangle on the weekly and the daily, on the monthly, that would build a high base, giving us something to launch from. So that would, in fact, be bullish. Now, let's go here to the NASDAQ. And this is the daily NASDAQ. We have this huge, 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 huge triangle. And we are very extended. You can see this extended, 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 extended. Question is, we're going to smack our head and drop. Maybe, maybe not. We are above all major moving averages. But wow, if you take a look at this MACD, we are overbought in a big way. Let's go to the weekly. The weekly here, we are at a crucial resistance point right here. This resistance point is a big one. So be watching this resistance point. Will we blast through or will it serve as resistance and drop on the weekly? If it does, the next few weeks could be a bloodbath as far as the NASDAQ is concerned. The monthly here little pullback looking fairly bullish higher high higher low we're still early here but i like this making new highs this could bode very well for the markets the russell small caps on the start off with the daily the daily here we're we found some resistance at this level we're very extended i mean we have just nothing but downside potential here I wouldn't trust any upside movement uh, due to this at this moment. So if I go to the weekly, we have big resistance that we're coming up to. But for the week, we haven't got up there. We have a little bit of an upper shadow here. Smaller candlestick than what we had received uh, previously. Losing a little momentum. But I could still see us get up, getting up here to this trend line. But that could act as resistance. For the markets to stay bullish, we need to blast through that. And as far as the monthly is concerned, another high base. But we do have resistance coming up. We are below that. And that's where we're at. If I look here at the banks, really important here. We're... We're dropping on the banks on the daily back into the moving averages. That's no good. We need to be above those moving averages on the weekly. On the weekly, we had a symmetrical triangle. We did drop below that symmetrical triangle. That is now um, an issue, a very real issue. We have popped on the weekly, but this is a bear pullback because we have lower swing highs, lower swing lows. This is no good as far as the weekly is concerned. This could be a nice bull flag, but that's only if, and you know what, gang? We are above the 61.8 retracement. It found support there and popped. Um, so on this, if I draw a trend line right there, and that's actually, check this out. I'm doing this on the fly. But we we went down to 61.8. We have what's called a uh, a bull flag on the weekly chart on the financials. The banks this is the biggest index for the banks. 470 plus banks in this. And this, if it breaks out, you can see resistance, resistance, resistance. And we did a touch and drop resistance. We're dojied out. I could see it still pulling back here. But if it pops whatever this the size of this leg is you could put right there that would be hugely bullish for the markets if that happens however if this next leg goes down busting down below this low the markets are in real real trouble so there we are hey join us monday night for some free education looking forward to seeing you there if you can't make it monday night if you get registered i'll make sure you get a recording of it there you have it. You get the very best of technical analysis here at Grok Trade. Thank you for being a part and thank you for sharing our website with your friends and colleagues. That does not go unnoticed and we do sincerely appreciate that.